dropping this Sunday, August 23rd. It will be the biggest, in most in-depth feature story that I've ever done. Uh, you know, you can definitely call it a passion project. It's becoming Mega Megu, the Megumi Fuji story, right? Uh, after UFC 250 and seeing Nunes, you know, just kind of continue to cement herself as the GOAT, uh, you know, I got this weird feeling. It was, it was like, yeah, you know, I do agree that she's the GOAT, obviously. Uh, I mean, it's hard not to at this point. Um, but her continued success, it, it just felt like it distanced, you know, memories and boosted potential ignorance about those uh, who came before her, you know, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, I decided to do something that from my searching had yet to be done. Uh, so I caught up with Fuji in June to begin chronicling her iconic career in life. Uh, you know, putting together something that had yet to be done for her that I truly hope helps teach those who don't know about her importance and, you know, about her as best as they possibly can. Uh, while sharing some new, neat little insights that those that do already know of her don't know, because there's plenty of those. <laughs> um, and, you know, so I talked to her as well as several others around her and in the MA world to put this thing together. Uh, I'll let you see who those are for yourself once it drops on Sunday. But yeah, man, I don't want to say, you know, I've cornered the niche of covering female MA fighters or anything like that. You know, obviously that's something we're very interested in as we have this show here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a very specific aspect of the sport that, you know, I've wound up focusing on. And it's really flattering having people think of me as a knowledgeable person in that regard. Uh, and it's never been like a gender thing, but, you know, about helping give exposure to those that might not get it as much as others. And who could possibly be more deserving of that than Megumi Fuji? 